What's up world, it's your boy Blogzilla here. You're watching another episode of the No Judgment Zone. Got my man Pooch Hall with me. I play Daryl, Ray Donovan's half brother. I'm like the black sheep, like literally. Hey Ray. No. We didn't think you can handle it. He's on a great, great show. Made the ultimate come up on Ray Donovan. Hey yo. How does it feel to be in a much better place? Feels good. Yeah. yeah. It feels good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, it feels good. It feels good, Zilla. Uh, you know, it's almost kind of like um, being like a star, a star in um, college, and then I get drafted to the league. Like, I feel like I got my Kobe Bryant swag. Like, you know, when I got drafted to the Lakers and, you know, Van Exel was there, Shaq, uh, Rick Fox, Eddie Jones. And I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to just do to do damage. And um, you know, for the people out there uh, who aren't familiar, I'm on a new show called Ray Donovan, um, which is on Showtime. Comes on Sunday nights at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, we just got picked up for a second season. Oh, of, uh, after three episodes, my dude. That's dope. That's mm -hmm. dope. That's that's rare. Yeah. We doing we doing some things over there at Showtime. So uh, you know, salute. And um, I'm happy to be a part of it, man. Um, I feel that uh, this is a big move from this, like you said, the, the, the come up because I want to be up there with Will and Robert Downey Jr. and Denzel and um, Jamie. So, like, working with these heavy hitters right here um, is definitely showing some, you know, some true grit and, and uh, that I can hold my own with these cats. What is it coming up that we should look forward to on this show? Like, what do you, because I saw the car oh, wow. scene. And so, like, what is it? What is it? Because it's, it's sort of like Sopranos meets Scandal meets HBO's uh, 24 7. You know, I'm, I play a fighter on the show. I play Daryl Donovan. And uh, I'm Liev Shriver, plays the title character Ray Donovan. I'm his half brother. Mm -hmm. John Voight's our father, plays. That's a uh, thing for black yeah, women. Yeah, loves black women. Love the chocolate. Woo! <laughs> Just saying. Okay. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, so they, they have they have me and uh, and I play the half brother where out of the out of the three brothers, uh, two accept me. I'm training in the gym, but me and we have kind of bump heads uh, right right down in it. And um, I'm trying to find my way. I'm trying to uh, fit into this to this family. And what's interesting about it, bro, is is I'm a black kid trying to fit into a Irish slash like mob last problematic family and it's almost kind of like well what what's driving him and, and I think that you know me wanting the acceptance of my blood father and uh, for all of you guys who aren't familiar he's John Boy plays my blood father on the show so it's just like you know and, and, and he loves me you know and you're gonna see some stuff unfold throughout the series where it's just gonna be really really interesting and you're gonna see the relationship that he and I have um, which is which is really cool, but I think each character can, all, in my opinion, have their own spinoff because this yeah. their story is so deep and just intricate. Hey, you! What are you doing this side of town? Guess who just scored two tickets to the two o'clock showing of High School Musical Three? I don't know, two gay guys. Come on, Derwin. You know I start rotations at the hospital next week, and this is my last chance to see it, so come on, come on. What is it like now when you get approached on the streets? Uh, what are people saying to you? They say, I miss you on a game. Or, like, what are they saying to you now? Oh, man. Uh, what do you think they're saying to me? They say that. They, I, I, I agree mm -hmm. on that. What else do you think they say? They probably say it, um, it's not the same without you. You're probably in a much better yeah. place. And All can you have their baby? Or will you give them a baby? Okay, let's stick to the game. <laughs> I just know because when I tweet, hey, I'm interviewing, <laughs> this is what the women are saying. They say, ooh, this is what they're saying. No, I mean, you know, I think, I think all my fans, uh, especially the female ones, thank you guys. Um, you stop it. <laughs> Back there, you behave yourself. Uh, no, it's, it's just a lot of love, but all what you said uh, is, is true. And, and, and just for the record, I didn't get fired, and I didn't quit, and I didn't walk away from the game. My contract ended. And we were negotiating. We didn't agree uh, with what was what was being brought to the table, so I kept it moving. Uh, 
I mean, you were originally trying to do both the game and Ray Donovan. Well, I was clear when I booked Ray Donovan, I was clear to do the, uh, do you the think game. You would have been able to do both. I could have done both. I said, I've said that a number of times. I could have done both, but for whatever reason, at that point in time, I think uh, BET said we're going to make this transition, and you know we're going to keep it moving. But because of what I meant to the game, they they brought me back for the premiere. So I did my thing on the premiere, and you know I'm not salty. I think it was just like more hurtful because I felt like it's almost kind of like you you felt you're going to retire with that team. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you kind of get traded away in a sense, uh, but not really. Um, it, it just it just it was it was just like a, a fuzzy period in my life but I think it was a blessing in disguise because of where I'm at um, because what's happening already with me is the people who I'm meeting from auditions to general meetings all all, all heavyweights big dogs who I, I didn't get that opportunity when I was on the game so uh, it, it is graduating, going to a, a higher plateau, and, and I wish everyone the best over there, man. Like uh, I still got friends over there, like you know, Kenny Smith was an amazing writer. Barry Floyd plays TT and uh, Rick Fox. It's your boy Blogzilla, tell him, man, Pooch Hall. Go check it out. Hey yo, Ray, Ray Donovan. Donovan. Showtime. How many times I got to tell you this is Pooch Hall? Okay, you do not call me why I'm doing no judgment zone on Global Grind. Okay. Bruckheimer. Okay. Yes, no judgment zone. Global grind. Okay, Jerry, if you're not here, you're losing. Clothes off, and they do like this dance, and they get real slump. My heart dropped because I thought you was going to take off your jacket for a second. I was like, oh, it's about to get really no, good. I don't know. I don't do my Woo! Pop the Molly, I'm sweating. Now, something <laughs> else that rappers should stop doing, I think they should stop beefing with people on Twitter. Like, that thing that's really dumb for them to beef with people on Twitter. Because if I have 200 followers and I go, mm -hmm. XYZ is a Corn ball. Just, just how she carry herself, you know what I mean? When, when, when I say independent, not necessarily meaning about no money, just an independent mindset, the thought frame that you know, you know what you trying to do, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I think a nigga could better you in some cases if, if that's what he trying to do, you know, but if, if not, you still got this shit under control on your own. 